Hi all, Cynthia here from MB Pretty Papers, back today on the Crafty Maven Getaway channel, doing a layout in my Travels, Traveller's Notebook. You may have noticed from the YouTube thumbnails that things have changed a little bit, so there's going to be some changes happening here on the Crafty Maven Getaway channel, and you'll see those come up over the next month or so. But what hasn't changed is the monthly inspiration piece. For this month's piece, I pulled from the colours and also that little image on the right that looks a bit like waves. Maybe think of my husband who works on the water. So I'm going to scrap a layout that is about him and I'll be using some of the colours that are in that inspiration piece. So some of the changes that you will see coming up are obviously the days of the week, the themes per days of the week are gone. We'll still have themes, but they won't be set per day. Um, and this one, as I said, I think is a stash it up. So I'm using my stash here to create this one. So I've, some of these papers are quite old um, or wouldn't even know where they come from. I think this stripe paper may have come from a Chamel collection. Um, but where the other stuff has come from, I really can't remember. I do bring in some project life cards here as well. They are definitely from our local $2 shop, a pack that I brought from there some time ago. But other than that, it's just a good mix from my stash. So make sure you stay tuned over the next month or so, as I said, and you'll see the changes as we work our way through them. Um, you should see more regular posts from the team as well. So um, hopefully everything's back on track, which will be very exciting. But what am I doing? Um, I have grabbed that background wood grain paper and I'm just laid a strip of that across the middle. And I've used this striped diagonal stripe here, which has all those colours in it that was in the inspiration piece, that the light blues and the dark blues and the yellows and some of the red tones. So they were pretty much all in that inspiration piece. Um, and I've just torn a strip off the bottom. I don't want it too neat. I thought about putting something up the top, but I think it's going to be too busy. So I do leave that top bit with nothing on the top of it, just nice and blank. But I like this zigzag green paper here. So I'm going to also mount the photo on that. So it really has three mats on it now. I think I put a white um, border mat on it, which I pretty much do with all my photos. Then I put a bit of a dark um, layer, some really dark green, which I thought would help it pop off of that wood grain. And then I really like this, that chevron zigzag paper uh, because the my photo and what I'm scrapping about today is uh, this is a selfie my husband took once he got home from work so he knocked off work a little bit early one day and he sent a text uh, a selfie of himself to his workmate saying oops how did I get here what what's going on shouldn't I be at work still um, a bit of that tongue-in-cheek text to the boys at work um, so I sort of want to have a little bit of a, um, a fun, graphic, cartoony type of feel to the page. So thinking that I will use this branding strip, but I don't. I've typed up my journaling here and I'm just going to cut it out. When I do type my journaling up, I generally type it out or print it a couple of times, either different fonts or different size just so when I print it out, I have a couple of options. And I fussy cut those out or roughly cut those out. It's probably more the the um, the way to say that. So I think I'm back the next day now. I went through my little um, black and white stash and pulled out some of these pieces. I think some of these are from the Pink Fresh Studio Case of the Balaz collection. Um, this one here, I know I have a die that I printed that out, so I'm just going to black back that with black. 
And so the words pop out a little bit and it's going to go up there. And I just like this sort of really loose grid design with the elements. So I don't think any of my two elements are going to touch each other. Um, and I just like that sort of, as I said, the graphic look to it. Going to put my title down there. I was so happy when I was flipping through my black container and I saw that, oops, which is just perfect for this layout. That uh, Let's Stay at Home die cut there, that doesn't stay. I like this little clipboard. I was trying to tuck something into the clipboard so it was holding one of the pieces, but I couldn't make it look right. I, I'm, never, I'm not very good at these paper clips. I never seem to be able to tuck things into them and make them sit and look right. So it's just going to sit there hanging on with nothing hanging on it. And as you saw, I used my stapler to staple that in place. I think after I turn the camera off, I also come back in and use my stapler on the left hand page there to staple on that little arrow on the bottom of the photo just to bring that element across to that page as well. So I think I have most things down but as I took away that house I just gone back into my stash to see what else I can find um, to put in that space there. I'd like to put at least four elements and here's my black and white stash. This is how I store my ephemera pieces that I have left over. They all go in here and then every now and then I just go through it and, you know, get rid of. I generally send them to my son's school. Um, any bits and pieces that I don't think I'll use any longer. Um, I can't quite remember what I pull out. Mm, let me think. Do I remember? No. What have I got? Oh, yes, I've got this little tag me time does it say which i thought was quite appropriate as well as he does knock off work early so it's kind of like a me time just use my borrow there or my pen there to just draw a rough squiggly line around my journaling just help that pop out a little bit going to grab out this roller stamp here it's one of my favorites i think it's an amy tangerine if i remember correctly and I think I put fearless, add the date, and oh no, I've got a couple of other things to go. I nearly finished, but I do have some acrylic pieces in my stash. I thought about using enamel dots, but they weren't the look that I was going for. Um, so I come up with these three acrylic black stars, which I think also add to that sort of like the, I don't know, I keep saying graphic look, you know, I'm visualising like a cartoon and the the wows and the splashes, you know. You probably don't know, but I know in my head what I was trying to go for. Um, so I glue those down, and I think that is pretty much it. So jump on over to the blog, the Crafty Maven Getaway blog. I will put some more photos up there and talk a little bit about what I've done as well. And make sure you give this a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment because we love reading your comments. And until next time, everyone have a lovely day, a lovely week or a lovely month. And I will talk to you on the next video. Until then, bye.